Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here with your Hollywoke hot take. Uh, let's start with Tom Hanks. So Tom Hanks has waded into the fray. Now, I gotta give a guy some credit. He has long kept his mouth shut regarding politics and various things over the years. He, he, he tends to keep his head down. I think that's what, uh, a big reason why everybody likes Tom Hanks. Um, but he finally weighed in on the pandemic saying he has no respect for people who don't wear masks. Now, this is probably from some interview somewhere and they're, they're cherry picking the quote. But, uh, you know, I hope Tom Hanks just leaves it at that and doesn't press this any further. Um, for a lot of reasons. I mean, number one, you know, him and his wife, they got sick very early on and uh, you know be probably because they're friggin millionaires and jet setting around the world and that's a quick way to get the virus let's be honest so and, and and I'm not calling him out for that or anything but you know I like Tom Hanks he's a good actor uh, I remember bosom buddies great show but um, you know uh, if he's gonna wade in on this it's it's a really really bad time and, and and you know in terms of his career he doesn't need this aggravation he just doesn't need it why why would you start doing this now I don't think he is I think he's way smarter than that I think this is just cherry-picked out of a recent interview and you know like a lot of celebrities they're trying to trying to keep their name out there you know so when things finally kinda go back to normal I guess next year um, <clears throat> we can uh, he can uh, move on to whatever next project he's doing. Um, contrast that with Justin Timberlake, who has suddenly called for all Confederate monuments to be torn down. Uh, <clears throat> first off, you're a little late on the party for that. Uh, but beyond that, and, uh, and apparently he's from Tennessee, who knew? Um, <clears throat> this is a really, really bad time to be calling for the tearing down of Confederate monuments. Now, I don't think he's calling down for the actual, you know, what the Antifa guys and the Marxists are doing with the actual tearing down, you know, angry mob tearing down statues, but <clears throat> this really, really is a bad time for this. You know, and uh, again, Justin, I, I, I can't believe you're not aware of this, but I guess a lot of people aren't because they don't really dig down into the news too far, but, um, <clears throat> you know, they're not going to stop at Confederate monuments. They have it, right? You know, this, these Marxists want to tear all the statues down. They don't just want to do the Confederates. And in fact, they could care less about whatever statue. I mean, they just tore down the statue of Frederick Douglass. And if you don't know who Frederick Douglass is, he was a freed slave. I believe he was freed or he escaped. Um, <clears throat> you know, during the time of the Civil War. I mean, they tore down his statue. This has gone way past BLM, way past. Um, they've torn down abolitionist statues. They've torn down Washington and Jefferson. They, they want to get rid of Teddy Roosevelt. They want to get rid of Mount Rushmore. Everybody's got to go because the Marxists want everybody to tear down everything. That's the deal. That's the deal. That's their goal in case you don't know it. Um, and in fact, there's evidence to suggest today that um, Elan Omar sort of took the mask off and said, oh, you know, we're looking to, you know, uh, tear down the, not just the political, but the economic structure, you know, because certain people should be making money and certain people aren't. I mean, it's a pretty anti-capitalist uh, piece of rhetoric she's actually calling for, you know, not directly, but calling for the abolishment of capitalism, um, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, she is left, 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 left. Um, and she's certainly entitled to her opinions, but that anyone's listening to her is insane. Um, you know, and you have these young kids who are like, yay, yay, we're going to tear down capitalism, hooray. Uh, these kids don't know what comes next after that. They think it's UBI and sitting back and 
getting two thousand dollars a month from the government and like maybe you work and maybe you don't and maybe you do your patreon and maybe you don't maybe you work on your etsy store maybe you go out with your friends it's an easy life right yeah until the money runs out until two thousand dollars won't buy you a loaf of bread and until like all the public works that <clears throat> Ilan Omar in their um, ilk, you know, it, it all starts falling apart and they go, well, there's not enough money. We're going to have to raise your taxes and you're not even making any money. <laughs> um, if you want a, a quick glimpse of what life is like under calm communism, let's call it, uh, look at Cuba, you know, look at Cuba, people there. Or dirt broke. There's a really good zombie movie called uh, Juan of the Dead. And uh, <clears throat> it gives you a little glimpse into the everyday lives of Cubans, at least in the beginning of the movie. You know, there's a bunch of scenes of them waiting for the bus. And them complaining that it's always late. You know, uh, everything's run down, broken, old. That's, that's life under communism, socialism. Um... You know, these kids think, oh, no, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to get $2,000. I'll be able to go to Starbucks every day and work on my poetry and my rap album. No. What you're going to be doing is hunting for food. Uh, literally. Literally hunting for food. You'll be going to the store. There's nothing there. Because all the stores will have closed. Uh, because no one can afford anything. And they can't make the money they used to. Uh, there's no jobs because all the stores are basically closed and there's just miles and miles of empty plazas Nobody can really afford to drive their car. You're constantly trying to take public transportation, but it's overcrowded um, You know, this is life under uh, The kind of socialist regime that uh, an Ilhan Omar would usher in fortunately, she doesn't have that kind of power, but you know we kind of got to keep that in check and tell these kids, hey, you can't just overturn the apple cart because you're not getting service first. Um, so just Justin Timberlake really ought to reconsider what he's saying here because they're not going to stop at Confederate statues. They're not going to stop at BLM. They're not going to stop at anything until the goal has always been to tear down the system. Even if that means Donald Trump gets elected, the, uh, part of the strategy is, you know, force us into a one-party system and then the whole system topples over because it's, it's heavy on one side, is the metaphor. And that's basically true because if you destroyed the Democrats to the point there was only one party, uh, people wouldn't consider it very legitimate in this country. There, would, there needs to be opposition. Uh, to at least give the illusion of, uh, of competition. <clears throat> and uh, you're destroying the Democratic Party. You're destroying it. So they really, really need to lose. They need to lose to pull back from all this leftist gobbledygook that they've swallowed in hopes of just, well, we'll just use these people and then we'll throw them under the bus after we're elected. No, they're not going to go away. If you're elected, especially if you're elected, if you're elected, they're just going to be standing at your doorstep every day making more and more demands. If Trump's elected, well, nothing changes, right? I mean, everything just sort of goes back to the way it was and everybody complains and then you got to wait till 2024. I don't think the Democrats understand the uh, genie they're trying to unleash here. Um, and they certainly don't have any control of it. I mean, does Nancy Pelosi look like a woman who's in control of her own party? I don't think so. Uh, so, Justin, take a page out of Tom Hanks' books, at least for for most of his career. Stay out, man. What do you need this aggravation for? You're that desperate to be in the newspaper again? You got to come out and call for something that was relevant maybe like a month ago. I mean, you know, they've gone way beyond Confederate statues. They're calling for tearing down the, 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 the Jefferson Memorial, man. I mean, is that something you support? Think about it before you open your mouth, dude.